Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the Pig War of 1859. During the 1840s and 50s, the United States and Great Britain were locked in a dispute over the location of the border between the U.S. and Canada. A series of treaties eventually set the border at the 49th parallel, yet the treaties left unsettled the fate of the islands in the San Juan de Fuca Strait between the Washington Territory and Vancouver Island. Both Britain and the U.S. claimed sovereignty over the disputed islands. The largest of the islands, San Juan Island, was occupied jointly by American settlers and British employees of the Hudson Bay Company, who, by most accounts, coexisted peacefully. However, in 1859, the situation changed dramatically. On June 15th, American farmer Lyman Cutler found a large pig rooting in his garden and eating his potatoes. Cutler grabbed his gun and shot and killed the pig. As it turned out, the pig belonged to one of the British settlers, Charles Griffin, who angrily confronted Cutler. Lyman Cutler explained that the pig had been eating his crops and, ordered, and offered to pay Griffin $10 for the loss. Griffin demanded $100, which Cutler refused. Griffin stormed off but returned later with more men and insisted that Cutler pay the $100 or be arrested and taken to Victoria, the British city on Vancouver Island. The American settlers, coming quickly to Cutler's aid, sent a message to General William Harney, the American governor of the Department of Oregon, who in July dispatched a 66-man infantry unit under the command of Captain George Pickett to San Juan Island. The governor of British Columbia responded by sending three warships to the island. Over the next month, both sides reinforced their positions, with the British soon having five warships and more than 2,100 troops around the island. Despite the overwhelming British numerical superiority, the 461 American troops refused to budge, and the standoff continued. The arrival of British Admiral Robert Baines in August served to defuse the situation. Baines ignored orders to attack the American troops, stating that he would not involve two great nations in a war over a squabble about a pig. At the same time, authorities in Washington, D.C. and London were shocked that the death of a pig had brought their nations to the brink of war. Very quickly, President James Buchanan sent General Winfield Scott to Vancouver to negotiate with the British. Soon, both sides agreed to reduce their troop numbers to 100 men on San Juan Island, while further discussions over the island's sovereignty continued. Eventually, the territorial dispute between the U.S. and Great Britain would be settled through international arbitration, with the U.S. gaining full control of the San Juan Islands. The Pig War was one of the oddest military conflicts in American history. The war had only one casualty, the pig, but it put two nations on the brink of armed conflict and ultimately helped to shape the foreign policy of the United States. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.